Hey, this is a continuation of the uh, previous video. Um, all these videos can be found on the blog post that's on elearningbrothers.com uh, that deals with Captivate 2017's new while uh, condition in their advanced actions. So in this one, we we'll, in the last one we talked about how to create a counter and just keep counting up while some condition exists. And so in this one, I'm going to demonstrate how you can do other things um, besides just count. Um, in this case, it's going to be spin an arrow. But it's, it's, I know it's a simple demonstration, but it's just to show you that it's possible to do other things in there. So let's jump over first and just take a look at uh, what this thing looks like uh, when you preview it. So we can see here my arrow is spinning. Um, the counter is clicking, uh, going up. And the cool thing is that our timeline is paused now at the very end. Note I said pause, and we'll come back to that in a second. And so the arrow just will just keep spinning forever and ever and ever um, until um, I change the condition of the while loop, which in this case is simply just by flipping that one variable. So in this case, I'm going to click stop, and it's going to stop uh, wherever I, I pointed it there. So if we come back over to how I did that in Captivate, then we can see that uh, that I have the same count up uh, action running. Uh, but this time I added um, this effect on there. So I said apply effect to the arrow to rotate it. Um, and I'm rotating it 24 degrees every second. So as you recall from the other one in the blog post as well, um, this while loop is going to run approximately every second. So what I want to do is figure out how far I want my arrow to go in that one second. Um, so 24 degrees is actually, if I do that every second, that means it's going to take about 15 seconds for the arrow to make a complete rotation on there. Um, you can definitely speed it up. If, if we come in here and we let's say 125 for that, and I'll update that action, close and preview. And then now we're going to see that the arrow is going to be moving along quite a clip here. But what's cool is still when I hit stop, it's going to stop pretty close to uh, to that point there. Keep in mind, it takes the while loop. You know, it's going every second, so this it doesn't stop immediately when I hit the stop button. It stops the next time the while loop comes through and evaluates that variable there. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out here is a, a small oddity about um, the timeline and the while loop. Uh, so normally the while loop, it just keeps on running and running and running constantly. And you can see here uh, that that's running, even though the timeline has paused and everything. Um, I had to put a pause at the end of it because while the loop is going to keep running, for some reason the animation doesn't keep running uh, when it gets to the end. So you can see we're paused at the end. I'm going to hit play. And now it, it just, you know, we were paused at like a, you know, point something seconds at the end. So you'll notice that the timer is actually still running. The while loop is running, but the animations are no longer working. So that's just uh, something to keep in mind if you try to do, or if you do animations uh, in your while loop there. Uh, jump back over to the blog post, and then uh, we'll have one more video coming up talking about a much more complex example of this. And you can play with all the examples over at the elearningbrothers.com blog post as well.